Morning. Open for business. It's Monday. Um, first job of the day is that digger there needs a green beacon fitting to it. So it was sold to a customer and then it's sold to a different customer now. And uh, they are wanting a green beacon on it. Uh, I just want this to be a quick job because I've got other things that I want to do today, but I'm going to have to uh, make a bracket to carry two of these, aren't I? I was thinking I'd just bolt it to that other side, but I'll end up having to run away from that grommet right the way across the back of the cab to that side and it looked terrible. Uh, so yeah, I'll just get a bit of flat bar. I mean, just a bit of flat bar and drill two, three holes in it. Just the painting of it. Paint it, wait for it to dry, then fit it. Better go and do that now then. Go and find a bit of flat bar. And I'll measure up, see how wide I need it to be. Uh, update on the traffic through Carlisle. I left the house at three minutes past eight this morning and um, it was 8.38 when I pulled into the yard and that is about two and a half mile journey. Joke. Total joke. There has to be somebody in the council that like if, if somebody wants to dig up the roads there's somebody sat behind a desk that ticks the box to say it's okay to do it. They've done a terrible job. <laughs> anyway, run over. Green beacon up there. Give me all the junk out the way, look. Got my seatbelt in. Push the radio back in now, actually. Got the way around, look. Pushes in. Put it back in there. That should just push in two. Right. Uh, seatbelt switches in. Spliced it into the wires that run up this pillar because um, running wires down this pillar is an ordeal. Even just getting a bit of welding wire down there just to try and attach something at the bottom to pull the wire back up the way. I've seen this mess on and mess on and mess on and just waste time. So um, what I use for the green beacon wiring on these DX19s uh, is I sacrifice the interior light. <gasps> you can't do that. I do. I mean, that interior light's dimmers out anyway. And who's got to be sitting in one of these in the dark? Try to read a newspaper. No one will notice. Our secret. So yeah, that's what I do. <coughs> Rightly or wrongly. Hey. So, all I need to do now is run a second wire outside, put my bracket on, which is somewhere drying. Can't remember where I put it. Um, and then chuck a green beacon on, that'll be this job done. Um, and then I'll go and put a service on the van, DX210 to service, and a 160 to go and look at as well. That's the plan for today. It's ridiculous how much stuff you end up getting out just to put a green beacon on a digger. Anyway, it's all done. Tidy it all up. I'll go and grab my filters and I'll head out for the rest of the day. I'm better out and about. Like it's a long day just doing stuff like that. It is better. Be life's better on the road. It is. Right, tidy up. It's funny when I first started going out and about in the van, uh, looking after diggers. I remember coming to this site, uh, or into this fo the forest here, and getting to here, you drive basically up somebody's driveway, right through the sort of little courtyard, and it looks like you're driving towards their garage, and then the track just goes off around the side. And I remember thinking to myself, this can't be right. This cannot be right. Um, the last time I had phone signal was about 15, 20 minutes ago. I just remember thinking, there's something not right here, but it is right enough. 
There's another way into this spot as well, basically from the other side of the hill, and you'd be you'd be a good. Well, it depends on the condition of the road I found before I set off. And it says, oh, you can come in from the far side, but the forestry road's really, really bumpy. So I'd imagine that'll be, you know, 20 minute drive just on the bumpy gravel and the tarmac. Whereas this is a bit, should be a bit quicker in, but slows the job down when you have to get in and out for gates. It does. Right, not much further now. Just to add to that as well, I always use Google Maps um, with the uh, satellite image so I can see all the forestry roads look um, because often, you know, I'm using the machine basically, the tracker on the machine, I just need to click the machine I want to go to, hit directions and Google works out the quickest way to get there. Um, you to watch because sometimes if Google can't see a track to the machine it'll just take you to the nearest road and then it'll say right you've now got a 20 minute walk <laughs> up that hill to get to it um, so if I am looking for another machine if I'm looking for a machine that's remote like this when I go into the satellite image I will just double check that it's taken me on a recognized forestry road and not like an old sort of I've seen it try and take us up an old railway track before um, which obviously can't do get over here again look shut this gate crawling with flies look <laughs> I don't mind bugs by the way um, yeah that great big horse fly in the van on Friday uh, yeah I wouldn't particularly enjoy being in here with one of those because they're nasty bloody things but these are just house flies and they don't bite you sting you and all like that they just irritate the life out of you buzz in your ear they just seem to get all up in your face and just horrible like anyway when we go up onto this hillside there'll be a good wind and there won't be any but I need to get over here I don't want to load in here with me so I've come to have a look at this 160-7. Um, operator uh, got in touch with us last Friday and this symbol there, uh, green light was on, that weightlifter fella, he was on all day. Um, and the way you make that green light come on is by pressing that button down, but he wasn't pressing the button down, it was stuck on. So I'm just, of course it's working perfectly today like. But, um, yeah, don't know whether it's the button. He said the button seemed all right, it seemed to click, but the, it didn't seem to make any difference of getting rid of that fella. So I'll just pull this tray out and just check the wiring into here and check the wiring down through there. Hopefully there's two wires joined together that shouldn't be. But like I say, it's working exactly as it should. Um, I've had this out and check the wiring from the plug down there up onto here up into the back of here up into the back of here wobbled it, shook it everything perfect I was hoping I'd just pull this rubber back and I'd see a bit of a crush point but there's absolutely no no damage so we'll let it develop. The annoying thing is, is when he comes to take his bucket off, you flick that switch, press that button there. When you press that button there, you can unlock the hitch, but then to lock the hitch back on, you need to press that button. You can't lock anything back on when it does come. By fact, I don't think, I think if I press that button there and then flick the hitch, because that's what's happening. That light's on all the time. I think if I flick that switch there, it doesn't allow you to unlock the hitch. The new sights this morning. Apparently it was a bit of a pain in the backside trying to get all the buckets and everything loaded onto the wagon. Right, well, 
I'll maybe get that fit. That's switch. Can you hear that? Not wrong with it. Hmm. Just annoying that it's working. So I'm not sure I'm gonna get that. Um, well, I'm not sure I'm going to get the next service done. Um, just talk to the lads there, and I think the machine is on the move at the moment. So um, I haven't got phone signal to see it on the app at the moment. So I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm going to go back through Carlisle um, and sort of finish off up in the yard. Right, last job of the day then. I'm going to get this uh, 250 shovel washed off sold and it is due to go out but you can see it's just filthy all over so got my degreaser we'll give it a good rinse off get the pressure washer nice and hot cute little thing isn't it there we go i think that looks a bit brighter now doesn't it it's far from perfect but uh it would have just looked horrendous if that went out the way it did so, yeah, it was absolutely filthy, like, filthy. Well, it's five o'clock. Um, yeah, it's been like the Mondayest Monday I've had for a while, to be honest with you. Just a bit sort of steady and don't feel like I've achieved much. But um, the rest of the week's not looking too busy at the moment, which would be nice for me, but for content, it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll just have to bear with us. Um, tomorrow I'm going to go to a job of visit a machine um, with my boss. So I don't know uh, what all I'll get filmed. If anything, tomorrow we'll see. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how the week pans out. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more. There'll be a little bit more doing than uh, there has been today. Um, and we'll just go from there. But hey, I can't complain too much. At the end of the day, if it's quiet, then the machines aren't breaking down and I'm doing my job right. That's how I look at it. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate everybody's time that they take out of the day to watch these videos. So thanks very much again. Uh, keep the comments coming. I've enjoyed your comments over the weekend and we'll see you in the next one.